Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Button Kaitos games for the GameCube. Button Kaitos is a nice JRPG. The combat system is turn based, but in a different way. You get cards. You can get more and customize your deck and each character has its own custom deck. Each card has a different effect and that's how you play the combat sections. Cards are randomly given to you and there are two phases in a battle, the attack phase where you have to choose between attack cards and the defense phase where you have to select from defense cards. You can also sacrifice cards to get new ones if you have a bad hand and this card system gives depth to the gameplay. You need some strategic planning when making the deck and during battles and cards have elemental attributes which means that it's advised to change your deck to cope with the right element in the area you are going to visit next. And cards have levels, represented by Roman numerals. Also the world is beautiful. It's cartoony and I like it. It has a distinct and pleasant feel and I like that the map sections also have roads like this. It helps to reduce travel distances when you run back and forth, back and forth to run errands. Origins is the prequel to the first game. The story is set 20 years earlier and has a new protagonist, Sagi. He works in the military so that with his wage, he's able to put food on the table. The story is engaging and well written, and it barely has cliches, which is very nice. In combat, the card system has been changed. There are a lot of changes, so I'll just scratch the surface. Now characters don't have each their own deck, but rather you share the same deck with your teammates. Now attack cards need to be activated in combo order, you need to activate the follow up of the number you've selected, also now the battles aren't in turns anymore, they are active battles, meaning that each character gets a bar that recharges before activating another card. And people on the internet seem mixed about the new battle system. There are people who love it and others that consider that it adds some unneeded complexity to the game. I'm into the second category. I like the battle system from the first one more. But the one here is good too. The game is also longer, it takes you around 80 hours to finish, the first one took you around 60. The story is more engaging which makes this game a very good sequel. Too bad that after this one they never made another one, in spite of fans pledging and awaiting for a new game to appear. Some poor business strategies made Origins not sell that well. And if a game doesn't make enough profit, game companies cease to make future titles, even if the games are regarded as great ones like Crisis or Prototype or this one, and fans really want to see a sequel. I hope one day they'll make one. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, and see you in future videos. Thanks for watching.